All right, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Tuesday, June 18, 2024, Warrenton Board of Aldermen meeting. If you would, please rise and say the Pledge of Allegiance with us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next will be consent agenda. We have the regular meeting minutes from June 4th, 2024. We have liquor license renewal for Social House 227 in the amount of $600. And we have the award for paving, striping, and repair of East Veterans Memorial Parkway bid to Mid River Asphalt in the amount of $93,811.60, the low bid. I'll entertain a motion. To approve the consent agenda items as submitted. So moved. Second. Motion made by Alderman Schultz. Seconded by Alderman Cullum. Roll call vote. Alderman Lang? Yes. Alderman Schultz? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Rowmaker? Yes. Motion passes 6 0. <coughs> Next will be public comments. Anybody like to address the board on any issues? We ask you to step forward to the podium. State your name. We'll give you five minutes to speak. Not seeing anybody. We'll move on. Next, we board of aldermen comments. I'd like to just say uh, thank you to our local gardening club again. Uh, coming down Main Street, the flower pots look amazing, and also the staff that waters them every morning. Because I was up this morning, Brandy, and drove by and saw. Okay, so yeah, thank you very much. It, lo it makes the downtown area. Brandy was up awesome. water. So awesome. yeah, Brandy was watering right? <laughs> at 6 a.m. <laughs> thank you. I got a call today from a resident complimenting the banners up and down Main Street. So thank you very much for that. Excellent. Any other comments? All right. Move on to the reappointment of Laura Zimmer to the Park Board for a three year term. I'll entertain a motion to approve the reappointment of Laura Zimmer to the Park Board for a three year term. So moved. Second. Motion made by Cullum, seconded by Alderman Quarter. Roll call vote. Alderman Schultz? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Rowmaker? Yes. Alderman Lang? Yes. Motion passes 6 to 0. Next will be street closing for the Fall Festival on September 21st, 2024. Any questions? No. I will entertain a motion to approve the street closings of, for Fall Festival on September 21st, 2024. So moved. Second. Motion made by Alderman Rowmaker, stated by Alderman Lang. Roll call vote. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Rowmaker? Yes. Alderman Lang? Yes. Alderman Schultz? Yes. Motion passes 6 to 0. Next, we'll hear from City Administrator Brandy Walters. Good evening. Tonight, I have for you a code change for Section 505130. Um, while we were working on this dilapidated house that we've discussed in the previous meeting, we realized that the code reference in here it references 500.090 instead of 500.120. So that's all this is is just referencing the correct point in the in the code. And there's a bill for that. I'll entertain a motion for the first reading of Bill Number 43-24. So moved. Second. Motion made by Alderman Cullum, second by Alderman Lang. Bill Number 43-24, an ordinance amending Section 505.130 of the Municipal Code of the City of Warrington, Missouri, relating to violations for dangerous buildings. I'll entertain a motion for the second reading of Bill Number 43-24. So moved. Second. Go ahead and go with Alderman Schultz. And, uh, motion made by Alderman Schultz, seconded by Alderman Lang. Bill number 
bill number 43-24 in ordinance amending section 505.130 of the municipal code of the city of Warrington, Missouri relating to violations for dangerous buildings. We'll call vote. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Romaker? Yes. Alderman Lang? Yes. Alderman Schultz? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Bill passes six to zero. Uh, just a reminder, Cocktails and Conversations is June 25th from 5 to 6.30 at the Renaissance Wine Garden in Forestell. Let me know if you're going to that and I can RSVP. Um, we currently have two openings for park board members. If, there's, if you know of anybody that's interested in that, please send them our way. Um, and the last thing I have for you, as we discussed at the last meeting, the tall grass on Walton has been mowed as of tonight. Yeah, I think it was happening when I was driving down here. It looked good. <laughs> That's all I have. Thanks, Brandy. Any other questions from Brandy? Oh, thank you, Brandy. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> Next, we'll speak to Director of Operations, John Struckoff. Good evening. First item I have for you tonight is the monthly admin report. Uh, just nothing too major to report on that this month. Uh, we are getting some positions opening up, so if you know anybody looking for a job, send them our way. Happy to answer any questions if you have any. John, are those summer jobs or full-time? Uh, full-time. Thank you. Any other questions? Good time. Before I move on to the next item, I wanted to do my um, <coughs> uh, important dates. We got a July 2nd is the blood drive. Um, August 5th and 6th is bulk item pickup. So August 5th is going to be north side of Boone's Lick, and August 6th is going to be south side of Boone's Lick. And then obviously the fall festival is September 21st. Any questions on any of those? And that bulk pickup, just to clarify, that's uh, where they pick up one bulky item at your at the street. So okay. <clears throat> you have to set that up, or you just put it outside. <coughs> that, you just don't need to contact. Just put it outside on those dates. Yeah. And, and tell me again, which August 5th is which side? August 5th is the north side of Boone's Lick. And August 6th is the south side of Boone's Lick. Thanks. Any other questions? Go ahead, John. Uh, the other item I have for you tonight is the a bid for inside painting and the um, piping replacement at Well 6. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions with, for you on that. Um, Mr. Gievers couldn't make it tonight to get this approved, so that's why I'm... I'm Where's Well 6 again? Well 6 is the one off of, um, uh, up behind Warrenton Tire and RC contracting oh. there by Mama Bayer's Daycare, Powell Street. Is that the last one that we need painted for a long time or are they all no. pretty much? No. So that one was painted on the outside not too long ago. I don't remember how many years ago, but the That's inside fine. was never done. Uh, we actually had a leak. Um, a couple years ago and when that leak happened we noticed that the piping that goes from the ground to the tower actually is leaking so we're going to paint the inside of the tower and replace that pipe so we get rid of that leak. Is that going to affect people a lot while they do that or no? We won't raise a change? Should, should not even notice the, the difference. Awesome. All right. I'll entertain a motion to award the painting <clears throat> of tower number six bid to Hogan's Incorporated in the amount of $105,397.50, the low bid. So moved. Second. <coughs> Motion made by Alderman Schultz, Alderman Lang. Roll call vote. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Romaker? Yes. Alderman Lang? Yes. Alderman Schultz? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Motion passes 6 to 0. I got. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, John. Next, we're here from B Building Commissioner Mike Cross. Good evening, Mayor and Board. You have my monthly mm -hmm. report. Glad to say we're up to 34 new homes so far this year, which is a pleasant surprise. Um, Pickney, Walnut Hollow, Park Hills are all continuously building. So that's a, that's a good sign. Creekside keeps marching on up the way through AA. So pretty soon he'll be up close to Walnut Hollow probably in another six months. I doubt that. Construction is just held as best as I could ever thought it would. That's crazy. Interest rates at what they are, I'm, <coughs> people are still in the market, yep. which is good. Love to see it. What, what's the status, the, the subdivision on the old Pope property? Uh, 
I don't, I don't know the name of it. Uh, it looks like construction has stopped on that. Is there anything I'm sorry, sir. Can you speak in your microphone? Oh, <laughs> oh I have it muted. <laughs> Uh, the subdivision on the old Pope property, or whatever it is called, uh, it looks like they've they've stopped doing any kind of construction there. Is there yes, something going on with that? No, they're just at a lull period of time right now. Okay. But, no, it's still going to continue on. That'll be the fifth neighborhood. Okay. Any other questions? <clears throat> Thank you, Mike. You're welcome, Thanks, sir. Mike. I'd like to say that the next we'll hear from Chief Police Larry Ellard, but it looks like a much younger and different shaped, uh, <laughs> as far as tallness, uh, Lieutenant Unger, who's joining us today. Calling me short, sir? <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay. Just uh, size disparity. Good evening. I don't have anything really on top of the uh, Chief's monthly report other than a reminder that I was just going to give. A director of operations already spoke on it, but I was going to just give another reminder that this Battle of the Badges uh, blood drive between our department and the fire department is going on July 2nd. So I know you guys are aware of that. So I brought some extra pamphlets here just to give you guys after the, the meeting. But other than the, the Chief's monthly report, I have nothing else. If you guys have any questions for us. Nope. Do we do? Get it easy tonight. A good night to replace them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we'll hear from Director of Planning and Development, Tim Burks. Good evening, everyone. Uh, you have a copy of my monthly report. Uh, one of the highlights was we had one new business, the uh, Royal Pets, at uh, 608A East Boonslick, opened in May. Um, that was the only new business we had. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> but before you move on to the next one, I just want to make sure you've drank enough water because you're going to do a lot of reading here soon. Okay. <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> All right, Tim, go ahead. All right, so the, the first project is going to be the approval request for amendment to section 405.140. Uh, um, it's the height limitation. Uh, this is changing the height from in the C2, C3, and C4 district from uh, three stories, 35 feet, to four stories of 45 feet. Okay. Following her notice was posted in Warren County Record on May 23rd. Uh, it was presented at PNZ where the motion passed eight to zero with two absence. Have any questions? I do not. No. Good. Uh, <coughs> entertain a motion for the first reading of Bill Number 36-24. So moved. Second. Motion made by McCorder, second by Alderman Lang. Bill Number 36-24, an ordinance amending Section 405.140, 405.150, and 405.160 of the Municipal Code of the City of Warrington, Missouri, regarding height limitation. I'll entertain a motion for the second reading of Bill Number 36-24. So, so moved. Move. Second. Who was the first one? I'm sorry, Rollmaker. Alderman um, Rollmaker made the first motion, seconded by Alderman Schultz. Is that correct? Yes. Bill Number 36-24, an ordinance amending Section 405.140, 405.150, and 405.160 of the Municipal Code of the City of Warrington, Missouri, regarding height limitation. Roll call vote. Alderman Romaker? Yes. Alderman Lang? Yes. Alderman Schultz? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderm Alderman Cullum? Yes. Bill passes 6 to 0. And next project is the approval request for amendment to section 405.195 overlay zoning district AM, or ADM 138. Uh, this is the overlay district for Main Street that was spoke about, um, the changes that were made. A public hearing notice was published or was posted in Warren County Record on May 23rd, 2024. Um, this was presented at PNZ and the motion passed 8 to 0 with two absence. Are there any questions for Tim? No. All right, I'll entertain a motion for first reading of Bill Number 37-24. So moved. Second. Motion made by Alderman Cullum, second by Alderman Schultz. 
Bill number 37-24, an ordinance of the City of Warrington, Missouri, amending section 405.195 of the Municipal Code of the City of Warrington and amending regulations relating to certain overlay districts. I'll entertain a motion for the second reading of bill number 37-24. So, so moved. moved. Second. On the quarter? Yeah. <coughs> motion made by, first motion made by Alderman quarter, second by Alderman Romaker. Bill number 37-24, an ordinance of the City of Warrington, Missouri, amending section 405.195 of the Municipal Code of the City of Warrington and amending regulations relating to certain overlay districts. We'll call vote. Alderman Lang? Yes. Alderman Scholes? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Romaker? Yes. Bill passes 6-0. Our next project is the Dollar General Preliminary Slash Final Record Plat, SUBD 122. DG Partners LLC has submitted an application for a preliminary slash final record plat for 7.30 acres on the east side of Highway 47 North Isabella Drive. Preliminary plat, an ap preliminary plat application is to create two new commercial lots that have been submitted with the final record plat. The subject site is uh, Zone C2 General Commercial District. The uh, preliminary plat is the first step in subdividing uh, the property. The plans show a preliminary design of two lots. Lot one is 2.13 acres. And the site plan application has been submitted with the proposed Dollar General store for that one. Uh, lot two is uh, 5.16 acres and will be left vacant for now. Uh, the plan shows the easement requirements to provide municipal service to the lots in the future. Uh, the record plat is a final step in the process of uh, subdividing the property. Let's we'll see, future developments and subdivisions, or subdivision of the larger track will require submission of a new preliminary plat showing proposed lot configuration and utility service to the proposed subdivision. Uh, preliminary uh, stormwater indicates most of the site drains northeast and there is plenty of green space for the water to slow down and plenty of infiltration of the st storm water. Uh, staff has reviewed the preliminary slash record plat and found the proposal is consistent with Chapter 405, the Zoning Regulation and Warranted Municipal Code. All items and notices have been, been provided and completed as state and local law requires. Uh, this was presented at the PNZ and the motion passed 8 to 0 with two absents. And we do have representatives for the Dollar General here. And to my understanding, you guys want to do a presentation, is that correct? Um, yes, if we could. Uh, sure, by all means. Okay. Are there any questions on uh, SUBD-122? This time. All right. <coughs> I'll entertain a motion for the re first reading of Bill number 38-24. Move. Second. Or was it? Yes. That's a motion made by Alderman Quarter, second by Alderman Ling. Bill number 38-24, an ordinance of the City of Warrington, Missouri, approving the preliminary and final plat of the subdivision known as East Highway 47 Dollar General Subdivision. I'll entertain a motion for the second reading of Bill number 38-24. Right. I would like to ask that So, all right. Thank you. We'll table the second reading till next meeting if that's in agreement with everyone. I don't. I don't. That's fine. Well, we can do that. I mean, we're going to have to take a. Yeah. I'll entertain a motion to table the second reading of Bill Number 38 <coughs> at this time. So moved. Second. Motion made by Alderman um, Schultz. Seconded by Alderman Cullum. Do a roll call on it, please. Roll call vote. Alderman Schultz? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Romaker? Yes. Alderman Lang? Yes. Second reading will be tabled till next meeting. And you are asking for the site plan to be tabled as well? Tim. 
and the next project is the Dollar General Store uh, Site Plan SP-172. Uh, DG Partners LLC has submitted a site plan application for approval for 2.13 acres on the east side of Highway 47 north of Isabella Drive. Site plan shows construction of one, one story, 10,640 square foot Dollar General store. Appendix A of the zoning code shows a retail store as permitted in C2 General uh, Commercial District, which the subject site is currently zoned. Uh, the area south of the subject site is zoned C2 General Commercial. The area to the north is zone uh, PUD plan unit development and the area to the east is zone R3 residential. The land uh, west of the subject site is unincorporated and not located within the, the city of Warrington. Uh, staff has reviewed the site plan and found the proposal consistent with chapter 405 uh, zoning regulations of the Warrington Municipal Code. All items and notices have been provided and completed as state and local law requires. Uh, this was presented at the PNZ the motion to deny was passed eight to zero with two absents. Do you have any questions for me? Do you guys have any questions for Tim? Certainly. All right, I'll entertain a motion to. <laughs> Mayor, did they have a uh, presentation? It depends. Are you guys wanting to present it before you ask for the first reading in the table, or are you guys? When are you guys wanting to do it? Um, I guess we'll go ahead and present it now. So if you have any questions, okay. Okay. And thank you for your patience with us. I appreciate it. And I do have hard copies here, uh, if y'all would like them. Thank you. That way or this way? All right, again, I thank you for your uh, patience with us this evening. My name is Elizabeth Lum with Amundsen Davis. We are counsel for the applicant. Um, as staff indicated, uh, this property, if I've got this turned on, oh, no, I just did something wrong. So we'll follow along. <laughs> okay. Um, other way. There we go. All right. So as staff indicated, the property is located at the corner of Highway 47 and Isabella Drive. Uh, the property has traditionally been improved with a chain link fence and a metal building. Uh, my understanding is that at some point it was maybe used for some kind of storage or junkyard or, or something of, of that nature. Uh, there are two curb cuts onto Isabella, which we believe the former owners uh, had, had used. I am completely stuck now. There we go. All right. So the site is located in a C2 commercial zoning district, uh, again, with some mixed-use residential and commercial to the <coughs> south and residential to the north and west. Uh, the preliminary plat was just discussed. The uh, applicant is requesting to divide it into two lots with the uh, southern lot to be improved with the Dollar General store and the northern lot to be improved for the later use. Um, as stated, the plats were approved by planning and zoning uh, without uh, incident. Uh, the site plan uh, is what we're going to be discussing now. This is on pages 7 and 8 of your packets uh, for your reference. Um, to begin with, the review of a site plan, uh, the approval is not a legislative act. And what does that mean? That means there's a little bit less discretion uh, in the approval process. So uh, whereas with a zoning, you may be able to consider the particular use or something like that. This is a permitted use. It's a site plan. And the approval or denial must be supported by substantial evidence. Before we really dig into the site plan, I want to talk a little bit about the commercial district that it's in. It's in a C2 commercial district. Uh, 
the general retail use is a permitted use in the district. Some of the other permitted uses include um, what's listed here, uh, probation office, outpatient clinics, hotels, motels, parking garages, uh, big box stores. So there are a variety of uses, some of which you know may be you know less desirable in the residential area. Uh, moving on to the comprehensive plan and the future future land use. Uh, the lot there is circled, I think, in orange. It is indicated on your comprehensive plan as being a neighborhood commercial district, which means that it would serve the nearby residential area, usually in a standalone or commercial center, and it might include something like a Dollar General, a convenience store, grocery store, drug store, uh, something of that nature. So this uh, proposed use is not only consistent with what is um, currently uh, property is currently zoned for but it's also consistent with what uh, the city plans for the future now uh, staff has gone through uh, the requirements for the approval of the site plan I uh, believe that the uh, proposed uses and improvements are uh, appropriate for the site and the surrounding uses. I would like to draw your attention to the uh, fourth and fifth lines there regarding uh, the curb cuts on Isabella Drive and some of the other improvements to be made to the site. Uh, the applicant spent a uh, significant time with staff and the city uh, when staff expressed some concerns regarding the curb cuts, you know, uh, the applicant agreed to reduce from two curb cuts to one and to move that one uh, approximately 200 feet from the edge of Highway 47 uh, so as to allow room for stacking for cars turning off of 47. Uh, that will also allow a little bit of room for delivery trucks. Uh, the parking lot itself would have uh, room for the delivery trucks to maneuver uh, so, you know, not you know, much danger of the trucks going into the sub or into the residential areas. Uh, the plan also includes a six foot vinyl fence as screening for the residential properties abutting the site to the west. Uh, and some trees and uh, some other uh, plants and improvements there. So again, staff recommended the approval of the final plat. Uh, staff also reviewed and recommended the site plan, found it is consistent with Chapter 405 and the zoning regulations. So we did uh, note that there were some concerns uh, for traffic. And again, that was addressed uh, by the applicant uh, working with staff by moving the driveways, or excuse me, reducing the number of driveways, moving it farther from 47, um, and making sure that there's ample room for the delivery trucks and things like that to uh, maneuver around. Staff did recommend approval of this site plan. Um, the next few are just images of the fence that we mentioned. This would be for screening the residential properties. And the landscaping plan, as you can see, there are trees in the corner, some shrubbery along the back fence there um, with a variety of plantings, so there would be some screening and color year-round. And that is all I have. If you have any questions, I am happy to answer them for you. A couple questions. Uh, sure. the, the first one being, what kind of delivery trucks are we talking? Are we talking semis? Because semis aren't allowed on those roads. Okay, um, I'm not sure. Okay. So. Um, my question is, uh, with that much property, um, why is it not practical to, to get access directly to Highway 47? Could you not move it slightly and get access to Highway 47? Um, by moving the building, you mean? M moving the site. Or developing it as all as one site. I believe some of it has to do with the distance requirements uh, that MoDOT imposes. And I believe some of that also has to do with just the uh, lay and configuration of the property. Uh, the engineer perhaps can answer that better. Yes. Uh, I'm Tom Burke, Premier Design Group, um, 100 Midland Park Drive, Wentzville. Uh, yes, yeah, so we did coordinate that with MoDOT, and their their minimum requirement is a uh, 330 to 440 feet uh, from intersections. So it would have to be that far north of the Isabella 
intersection. But I mean, with that much property, though, you have that room available, correct? And if you don't subdivide, like PNZ said, then you'd have that room. Yeah. Um. Sorry, and I believe that um, part of that again has to do somewhat with the lay of the land. But I think the other um, indication is that. While there, we have addressed some of the stacking and traffic concerns, um, I don't know that there's been any evidence that the use would, in fact, overtax Isabella either. So, um, you know, I don't know that there's. Uh, and, yeah. and I agree with them. I don't know that it's overtaxing. It's more of, of an issue of most Dollar Generals do get supplied with some type of semi-truck, and I don't believe that road, Isabella, was built for that use or built for that infrastructure, and it could degrade the, the road itself. Yeah. And don't we, we can confirm the, the size of truck. Um, I, I, believe, I believe it's not semi-trucks. I believe they're, they're smaller box trucks, but I can confirm that, and we can work with uh, staff and, and the board. Absolutely. Do, do you know um, how many Dollar Generals basically enter and exit off of a private sub uh, or not a private subdivision but a subdivision road Science as opposed to the highway I, I is that a the, common thing I, I don't know the answer to that question uh, but it, in this case it's it, it's still a, it's still a commercial commercially zoned area at C2 so I, I don't know if we can consider it residential um, yeah, and uh, going along with it, because it is uh, commercially zoned, it's it's intended for commercial uses. The curb cuts that are on there um, are existing and presumably intended also for the commercial uses. Uh, if you go back to uh, some of the other commercial uses that are permitted in, uh, in the C2 district, uh, there's potential of, you know, more traffic or larger trucks or... Um, some some other uh, issue that may concern you with the roads, for example, the uh, you know the healthcare can, uh, facilities would generate uh, could potentially generate significantly more traffic. Um, grocery store or gas station again could potentially generate some larger trucks and things like that. So and these are permitted uses in the C2 commercial district. So. Um, as the general dollar general is a re general retail store, it is permitted. Uh, so are these, uh, but we believe that the uh, impact of the dollar general would be less. Does does dollar general uh, at any time ever take uh, a survey or an opinion poll of the residents in the area where you're putting it? I don't know the answer to that, uh, but again, this is a permitted use. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? I had answered. Okay. Any other right. questions for anyone? You guys said you wanted to table the second reading? Yes, please. That's the second reading. All right, without any other questions, I'll entertain a motion for first reading of Bill number 39 24. So I'll move. Well, Mayor. hold on. But I just wanted our staff recommendation for approval was not. Say, in. I wanted to make a recommendation that's consistent with what they did to deny approval, word it the same way that they did. The they recommendation for approval yeah, was can. not in the report. The lawyer said so they can. You're recommending that we read for a negative on the first? If the board never been recommended before like that, it's always to take it in a positive. Negative can be answered by an individual alderman as they choose. Right. So we'll take it in the positive, but we're only doing a first reading. Correct. Okay. Well, we can take it in the negative as well. We can, but it's the, it really complicates. The issue the is when you can start doing when it. you consider it in the negative, it, how the vote then gets read out creates confusion. Gotcha. So I understand that, but we're not even going to go in the negative or the positive because we're just doing a first reading. Then we're going to table it for Correct. the actual voting Before of a vote. negative or positive within the reading of the gotcha. bill itself. I can't rewrite the bill as, it, as it's <coughs> gotcha. be done. So. I'll entertain a motion for the first reading of Bill Number 39-24. So moved. Second. Motion made by Alderman Quarter, seconded by Alderman Lang. 
Bill number 39-24, an ordinance of the City of Warrington, Missouri, approving a site plan for certain property located on the east side of Highway 47, north of Isabella Drive. And as we've said before, the, the applicant has asked to table this, therefore I will entertain a motion to table the second reading of Bill number 39-24 till next meeting. So move. Second. Motion made by Alderman Rollmaker, second by Alderman Schultz. Roll call vote. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Rowmaker? Yes. Alderman Lang? Yes. <coughs> Alderman Schultz? Yes. Motion will be tabled to next meeting. That's right. July 2nd. What's that? July 2nd, right? Yeah. Okay. Second. All right, go ahead. And the next project is the Hopewell Winery Conditional Use Permit, CUP 97, and Site Plan, SP 173. Uh, Jeremy Wobbles has submitted an application for a conditional use permit and a site plan for a building on the north side of the East Boonslet Road on the, <coughs> and east of Northeast Street at 209 East Boonslet Road. The building is currently zoned C2 General Commercial. The applicant plans to use uh, a portion of the building uh, as a pass that was used as a pass a restaurant as a proposed winery slash restaurant. The applicant is proposing to open the winery first and then the restaurant. Um, I think he's changed and he's going to open it later and open both of them together. Um, the restaurant is a permitted use in the C2 General Commercial District and the Appendix A defines bar, tavern, and nightclub as a conditional use. Staff has reviewed the conditional use permit and site plan and found the proposal is consistent with Chapter 405, the Zoning Regulation of Warren Municipal Code. All items and notices that have been provided and completed as required by state and local laws. Um, both of these were presented at PNZ, the Hope Will Ronnie Conditional Use at CUP 97. That motion passed 8 to 0 with two absent. And the Hope Will Winery Site Plan SP 173. Um, that motion passed 8 to 0 with two absent. And the applicant is here to answer any questions. Do you have any questions for me? Are there any questions on that? I look, will you permit smoking? Is smoking going to be permitted? I'm just curious. Pardon me? Is smoking going to be permitted? Or is it going to be a smoking establishment? I think it's something for him to answer. I, I'm just curious. Uh, <clears throat> no smoking. No. no smoking. Okay, thank no, you. No, we don't permit smoking. Uh, currently, I already have a winery. Uh, we don't permit smoking there. Whenever smoking was uh, legal in Illinois, we still did not permit okay. it. That was my only question. Thank you. I think it's going to be the only question you have. Okay. <laughs> I apologize. I feel unprepared. I don't have a no, presentation no. like Dollar no, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't okay, feel unprepared. See you next month. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. You're not wanting to table anything, correct? Yeah. Okay. No. We're good. No. <laughs> Please don't. <All> right. <laughs> I'll entertain a motion for the first reading of Bill number 40 24. So moved. Second. Alderman Rowmaker first, and then we'll put Alderman Lang as the second. Bill number 40-24, an ordinance approving a conditional use permit to allow our proposed winery located at 209 East Boons Lake Road. I'll entertain a motion for a second reading of bill number 40-24. So, so moved. Second. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go, guys. We're going to argue <laughs> that one out. You can have it. You? Okay, Alderman Schultz first. Who was the second? Quarter. Go with quarter. quarter. We have to vote for that too. <laughs> Bill number 40-24, an ordinance approving a conditional use permit to allow our proposed winery located at 209 East Boonslick Road. Before I say the, the magic words, I'll just say you had enough aldermen jumping on this. It may be a good review for you so far. <laughs> <laughs> Roll call vote, please. Alderman Quarter. Yes. Alderman Cullum. Yes. Alderman Rowmaker. Yes. Alderman Lang. Yes. Alderman Scholes. Yes. Alderman Crump. Yes. Bill passes six to zero. All right. Our last project is the Park Hills Plat Two uh, uh, boundary we line adjustment site plan. 41. Bill number forty one. Site plans. I mean, you don't have to say anything more. Site okay. plan was ex exactly. I'm sorry. Explained by you. <laughs> no, you're good. 
I'll entertain a motion for the first reading of Bill Number 41-24. So moved. Second. Second. Motion made by Alvin Calm. <laughs> we'll see. Second of Alvin Lang. Bill number 41-24, an ordinance of the City of Warrington approving a site plan for attractive land located at 209 East Boons Lake Road. I right, attend a motion for the second reading of bill number 41-24. I move we read the bill 31-24 a second time. I'll second that motion. <laughs> motion made by Alderman Rollmaker, second by Alderman Schultz. Bill number 41-24, an ordinance of the City of Warrington approving a site plan for attractive land located at 209 East Boons Lake Road. Roll call vote. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Rowmaker? Yes. Alderman Lang? Yes. Alderman Scholes? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Bill passes 6-0. Be smooth and easy. Came very prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Tim. All right, the Park Hills Plat 2 Boundary Line Adjustment <coughs> SUBD 123. Premier Builders and Develop Developers LLC has submitted an application for Boundary Line Adjustment Plat for lot 16, 17, and 18 of Park Hills 2 uh, subdivision on the west side of Morgan Street across from uh, Spectre Lake. Um, the plan modifies three existing lots. Lot 18 will be reduced from 22,349 square feet to 20,000. 178 square feet. Uh, lot 17 will be increased from 9,012 square feet to 99, 9,947 square feet. And lot 16 will be increased from 12,375 square feet to 13,615 square feet, exceeding the min minimum requirements for lot design standards in the R3 district. No modifications to utility service is proposed as part of the change in the lot configuration. Uh, staff has reviewed the proposed boundary line plat and found that it is consistent with Chapter 410 of the Subdivision Regulation of Warrington Municipal Co. and does not conflict with the comprehensive plan. Uh, this was presented at PNZ. The motion passed 8 to 0 with 2 absent. And I'm not sure where the applicant is tonight. That's okay. They didn't come to the PNZ meeting either. I reminded him again. <laughs> Just in case you guys had any questions. So. I'll entertain a motion for the first reading of Bill Number 42-24. Second. Motion made by Alderman Lang, seconded by Alderman Maker. Is that correct? Bill Number 42-24, an ordinance of the City of Warrington, Missouri, accepting the boundary adjustment for Park Hills Plat 2, located on Park Hills Court. I'll entertain a motion for second reading of bill number 42-24. So moved. Second. Motion made by Alderman McCollum, second by Alderman Schultz. Bill number 42-24, an ordinance of the City of Warrington, Missouri, accepting the boundary adjustment for Park Hills Plat 2, located on Park Hills Court. We'll call vote. Alderman Rowmaker? Yes. Alderman Lang? Yes. Alderman Schultz? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Bill passes 6 to 0. I'll entertain a motion to close the regular Board of Alderman meeting and go into executive session for legal counsel. So moved. Second. Cullum, second by Alderman Rollmaker. Roll, roll call vote. Alderman Lang? Yes. Alderman Schultz? Yes. Alderman Crump? Yes. Alderman Quarter? Yes. Alderman Cullum? Yes. Alderman Rollmaker? Yes. Motion passes 6-0. We are so adjourned. Thank you.